got you. What is up, y'all? I up? love Truth Be Told. Oh, it's my you. favorite, favorite, favorite show thus far. Oh, great. Yeah, thank and you. I just wanted to take some time out to congratulate you on the Breaking Bad movie. Oh, thank and you. And congratulate you on being honored by the Producers Guild yeah, with the Visionary girl, thank Award. You, thank How does you. it feel, little girl from Alabama? <laughs> <laughs> this little girl from Alabama, Truth Be Told, is very excited about mm. life right now. I'm so happy for you and so proud of you. Thank you. Do you think that the relationship between the two of you in this show is fueled by the fact that you have two parents that have something going on. Your mother has cancer and mm -hmm. your father has some early onset dementia happening. Do you think that is something, a commonality, a thread between the two of you that make you fascinated with each other? Maybe, you I know. I think that's a causal thing, but not a. Yeah, I mean, he's, you know, at the beginning, he's, he's, not, uh, he's not aware. Right. Um, but he's definitely, Draw, maybe drawn in mm -hmm. by this new information, but he looks at uh, uh, Warren looks at Poppy as being one of the reasons he's sitting behind uh, these uh, this prison, mm -hmm. and so yeah, I think he's kind of upset with her, but also wait, maybe she could be the key to, the key getting, to out. getting out yeah yeah well i think poppy also uses the information yes of your mom being sick to uh gain access but she doesn't know that her father uh what's going on there that we were just discussing the beauty of the complexity of all of these different families mm. and how this one crime has affected all of those families yeah it's got this common thread going on and we both deal with things like your past has put you in the situation where you are in prison. Your past is catching up with you in different glimpses throughout the series, right? Mm -hmm. What is one thing from both of your past that you'd like to forget or someone that you'd like to forget? Oh, God, do I start? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, I don't have anybody <laughs> that I want to forget. Yeah, because like same. Something, something that I, I... You know what I, I've come to realize when you get close to 40? <laughs> <laughs> When you come close to turning 40, um, or somewhere thereabouts in, you know. Um, the generality. The generality of 40. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you uh, accept everything as it is, and you take it as a lesson or a blessing. Yeah. And I'm I'm keen to both. Yeah. If it's a blessing, thank you, Jesus. And if it's a lesson, thank you, Jesus. Right. We don't you, do that again. You gotta just roll with it. You cannot be held back from your past. You just gotta exactly learn from whatever mistakes or tragedy or anything. You can just kind of pick yourself up and march forward because that is really the only thing you can do. The only thing. Okay. Absolutely. Well, thank you. That's my time. Oh, I appreciate thank you. Thank you. You look 